This video presents an analysis of Union Budget 2019. We are discussing this topic because on 5th July, the present Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman presented this year's budget. First of all, let's see the announcements made on education. This budget proposed a program named Study in India. Through this program, the Indian government makes an effort to bring in foreign students to pursue higher education here. This is a very good step and has the potential to make India as a higher education hub. It can also speed up the reforms in our education system. And 400 crore rupees were allotted to make top Indian institutions as world class institutes. It was also promised that the new national education policy will be implemented in this financial year. At present it is still in the draft stage. And it was also proposed that National Research Foundation will be set up to fund and promote research. So this budget took some good steps to improve India's education system. But experts have always recommended spending at least 6% of GDP on education. Even though the money allotted for education has increased in this budget, the share of education in total budget is just 3.4%. At present India needs reforms in education, so it needs more funds. To generate employment opportunities, this budget took some steps. It reduced the corporate tax of companies with a turnover of up to 400 crore rupees per annum to 25%. Earlier, only companies with turnover of up to 250 crore rupees per annum have 25% corporate tax. For other companies, it was 35%. With the fresh move, 99.3% companies will pay only 25% corporate tax. This is an encouragement to the micro, small and medium enterprises sector and this step has the potential to create new employment opportunities in this sector. And through this budget, government announced easing of angel tax regulations, which is a boon for startups. Encouragement to startups will result in more employment opportunities. It was also announced that India will be transformed as the manufacturing hub of electric vehicles. This too has the potential to create many jobs. And it was mentioned that 100 new clusters will be set up in this financial year under the scheme of Fund for Regeneration of Traditional Industries. And as a part of Housing for All program, budget announced additional tax deduction of 1.5 lakh rupees on purchase of homes that cost below 45 lakh rupees. This is a boon to the real estate sector and has the potential to create lots of jobs in this sector. But there was no mention of the unemployment crisis in this budget. Even though there are significant steps to create new jobs, there are no bold steps to solve the unemployment crisis in India. If we observe the announcements made on agriculture in this budget, for the first time the importance of promoting natural farming is recognized. This budget announced that the government will promote zero budget natural farming. This is a progressive step and will promote self-sustainable agriculture. This can result at the end of reliance on loans in agriculture. But the budget has not announced any funds for this and without the government support, it will be difficult for farmers to switch to this kind of farming. Moreover, on one side zero budget farming is mentioned and on other side fertilizer subsidy allocation has jumped from 70,090 crore rupees to 79,996 crore rupees. This is contradictory and will make it more difficult for farmers to switch to natural farming. And agricultural growth is declining over the past few years. The present government did not take any significant steps to keep its promise of doubling the farmers income by 2022. Mere support schemes like Kisan Samman Nidhi Yojana cannot help farmers in the long run. And in, the, in this budget it was also announced that new farmer producer organizations will be set up. And it has also promised to set up 80 livelihood business incubators and 20 technology business incubators to develop agro-rural rural industries. This will greatly help startups that are based on agriculture and thereby will help in lifting the agriculture out of crisis. Now let's see the impact of this budget on micro, small and medium enterprises. It was proposed that a new e-commerce platform will be launched to sell products of micro, small and medium enterprises. This is very helpful for MSME sector. It was also announced that there will be 2% interest subvention for GST registered MSMEs. This will encourage informal organizations to register and hence will help in formalization of the informal economy. And for startups, this budget has brought some positive changes. Angel tax norms are eased. A new TV program in Duradashin was announced to promote startups and to help them in reaching investors. 
global investors meet will be conducted in india which will be super helpful for startups this budget brought some changes that will have positive impact on environment for electric vehicles gst is reduced from 12% to 5% and it was also announced that there will be 1.5 lakh rupees worth tax exemption for the interest paid on the purchase of e vehicles this is a very progressive step and will help in faster adoption of electric vehicles if the production of renewable energy is increased to a great extent electric vehicles will help in fighting against climate change along with this the prices of petrol and diesel are increased so more and more people may adopt electric vehicles now let's see the changes that are brought for women empowerment every woman in self help group is eligible for an overdraft of 5000 rupees and one woman in every self help group is eligible for loan up to 1 lakh rupees under mudra yojana this will help in encourage women to take part in economic development and also helps them in achieving financial independence and also a new committee will be set up to suggest ways to encourage women to take part in economic development this is a good step and helps in achieving gender equality and if we observe defense budget it hasn't changed it is same as the interim budget 3.19 lakh crore rupees this is disappointing because recently india has witnessed terror attacks and terrorism is a growing threat so national security should have given more importance all the things explained till now affects common people but a few things in the budget directly impact them let's see what are they duties and cess on petrol and diesel were increased so the effective price of petrol is increased by 2 rupees per liter this will be an additional burden on common people moreover this price rise will result in higher transport cost and hence the prices of essential commodities will go up but on the other hand the importance of connectivity is emphasized in this budget and also steps were taken to develop infrastructure so the transport cost may come down and as a result this may cancel out the impact of the rise in fuel prices and as a part of housing for all program budget announced an additional tax reduction of 1.5 lakh rupees on purchase of homes this will be very helpful for middle class people and one nation one grid will provide affordable power supply har ghar jal was promised to make piped water supply accessible to all rural households by 2024 under the jal jeevan mission scheme and the important thing is that health sector is neglected in this budget this will negatively impact common people overall we can say that this budget did not take effective steps to tackle agricultural crisis and unemployment issue which are the major concerns in the present times but it is very practical and did not announce any short term beneficial schemes it was made with a long term vision and is focused on common people so that's it about this topic what are your thoughts on union budget 2019 share your opinions with us through the comment section and thank you for watching